I really didn't plan on liking this at all. The School of Podcasting with Dave Jackson. Hey, I'm Dave Jackson from the School of Podcasting.com, where I help you plan, launch, and grow your podcast. And today we're talking about Cap Show. It's this AI tool that you upload your episode and it basically spits out a ton of stuff. Now, before I get into my review of that, please do a second and uh, click the bell, subscribe, you know, that whole nine yards. And that way, the next time I put out a video, you'll get it. And so I'm here to say that when I hear about all this AI stuff, I kind of go, hmm, is it really as good as, you know, an actual human? And the answer is no. No, it's not. But here's the thing. If you are starting at zero, or let's say you have a two out of a hundred and you have some sort of automated tool that can get you up to about, I don't know, 87, that's a lot better than where you're at. And so what this tool does is you upload your episode. It will create a title for you. It will create a description, that opening description. It will create a show notes, you know, an episode description for you as well. You can actually have it write a blog post for you. You can have it write quotes for you to post on social, all sorts of stuff. And when I first heard this, I was like, yeah, I'm not really sure about this. And in the right circumstance, so what is not the right circumstance? Well, many of my shows, like I do a live show on Saturday morning. It's called Ask the Podcast Coach. Find it at askthepodcastcoach.com, and it's free podcast consulting. And so in 90 minutes, we cover a ton of different topics. We go where the audience leads. And so consequently, when I ran this through Cap Show, it didn't do a horrible job, but it was kind of like, Dave, what are you trying to say here? And because I was all over the place, because that's the way that show is. So then I took an episode from the School of Podcasting. Now that also has multiple topics, but typically it has a main one about podcasting and then it has some other things like where am I speaking and the question of the month. So I just took the part that had the meat and potatoes. Here's the main topic for this episode and ran it through Cap Show. And I was like, this is, it has my attention. It's actually pretty cool. So let's go over to the software. Try Cap Show. So I'm going to put here the podcast name is School of Podcasting. The host is me and the business is the same. And I will upload the artwork. All right. I have filled this in. We'll click on create. And here is my podcast. So that's my shows. So I'm going to go back here to create and now... So this is from my last episode. So it's just one topic and I'm going to go ahead and upload that. Did this episode have a guest? Nope, just me. And I'm going to save this now to the School of Podcasting. And when I click on Let's Go, it's 541 as we speak. And uh, we'll sit here and watch the sloth paddle away. All right, it is... 544, and it's come up with some ideas, the power of words, how they can affect people's emotions and actions, the importance of specific and concrete when communicating, being specific and concrete when communicating. All right. The idea of starting something new as an experiment instead of being afraid of failure. Ooh, I like that one too. I actually chose for the record, uh, powerful words for your podcast. Don't say this, say that. I like this. Let's go. This was the main point was changing your words. So we'll do that. I'll say, confirm the topic. And we're going to go back to watching the sloth do the breaststroke. And I'm just like, who is the, the cameraman that said, Hey, I know let's throw a sloth in a pool and, uh, or the ocean or whatever it is. And, uh, we'll film it and see if it drowns. Well, that didn't take long. It is, uh, now five 45. The power of words, how to launch an experiment instead of your podcast. Don't let the fear of a one-star review stop from being brave. So this might be that one line that shows up in Apple. I'm like, all right, I like that. Let's go to show notes. Don't let the fear. Okay. Uh, stop from being brave enough to do 
to be bad at something new. I like that. That actually combined. I, did I say that? I think I said that. Okay. And they asked me why I don't send guests ahead of time. I explain. I usually tell people why they're coming on the show. For example, if Gary's coming on in the future, I tell him what to find. Okay. You will learn the following. How the word choice of a question can affect the answer. How emotions inspire people to act. The power of starting something as an experiment. Love this episode. Leave us a review and rating here. Ugh. All right. That's fine. You know, social proof and all. Um, transcript. I'll uh, have to compare this, but I don't see anything as I scroll down in real quick that uh, the timestamps are a little like, can I get this without the timestamps captions? So these in theory are things I could use on Facebook. Do you feel like you're constantly and hustling and grinding, but your podcast isn't growing? Okay. Couldn't I say that on every single episode? Have you been told that the key to success is just keep putting out content, but you're not seeing the results as you want? If this sounds familiar, this episode is in this week's episode I cover. Okay. So I, maybe I don't understand what this is. So that's kind of interesting. That, that again is decent marketing. LinkedIn, struggling to find success with your podcast. This conversation is for you. Got it. TikTok. All right. So let's go down to the email. Don't let, okay. Here's what I'm driving into, diving into this week on this episode. Power of words, fear of one-star review. All right. My sign off. Pretty cool. Uh, if I wanted to write a blog post on this, really? Okay. Um, choose a topic. You can only choose one. Let's go, I guess, here. We'll do this, and it's going to write a blog post for me. All right. While that's doing that, are these all the same? Yeah, okay. So the LinkedIn article, oh, YouTube description is not. So while it's doing its thing here, in this video, you'll learn, which it's not a video, but that's okay. How emotions inspire you to act, restarts, okay. E lead magnets, and again, all my contact there. Potent quotables. Words of power in different words, all right. When you can tie... In words with emotions, right? Feeling, inspire people to act. Yep. Instead of saying, I'm going to start a podcast, I'm going to start a mix server and see what happens. There we go. All right. Let's go see what it did for the blog post. Really? It wrote a blog post. It wrote a blog post. This is impressive. What's interesting about this, it's taking my own words. Let me pause this and read this. All right. I'm going to hit, I'm, I'm not done reading this yet, but I love this part here. Here are the steps you need to follow to start an experiment instead of a podcast, to focus on the message, not the tech, and to not worry about the one-star reviews. I didn't write this, but it sure sounds like I did. All right, here, the first step in starting an experiment is to figure out what you want to test or explore. What is your hypothesis? What are you trying to prove or disprove? That sentence there, in my opinion, doesn't make much sense. But I can take that and improve it and say, for example, does your audience want a short show or a long show, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, it's, it's interesting as I scroll down this. I mean, this is cool. This is exactly what I said. Keep your message simple, concrete, and credible. Make sure the listener can engage with the content. Um, there's a weird typo here, or we need a period. To make sure the listener can engage with the content, podcasters should keep their topics focused and their episodes short. See, I wouldn't say that. Uh, to the point, maybe. And you can see where it's not perfect. The number four needs to come down here. But again, um, to keep your listener coming back for more. Oh, I see. Um, maybe it'll keep them coming back. There's a lot here about coming back for more. It's pretty interesting. So I minimal editing here to make... Because it's using things I said to write this, which I find interesting. Now, what's interesting is the blog post is fairly long. In fact, let's do a quick uh, fun test here. When I looked at the blog post, I copied and pasted it into Google Docs here. I see where it is a little over a thousand words, and I set my phone and timed it and it took me seven minutes to kind of 
change a couple things about this. So the question is, can you write a thousand words in less than seven minutes? Because if so, well, then you don't need this. But I just came in, add a little bolding, uh, which it already had, and added some things, uh, put some links in here to other resources and such. So this was, again, pretty impressive. Yes, it's AI, but a lot of these words came out of my mouth. It just rearranged it. So as we look at the pricing, if you just want episode titles, descriptions, show notes, and a transcript, that is $29 a month. If I look at a transcription service like otter.ai, they're looking at $17 a month. Uh, if I look at CoSchedule, one of my favorite tools to do headlines for you, it's $99 a year, a year. So you're looking at like $9 a month. So there's 16, 25. Uh, if you want something to generate social items for you, something like any word, um, we are looking at anywhere from $24 a month. But again, let me guess that's billed annually. Yeah, $30 a month if you're doing it monthly. And Cap Show again, $29 a month for this. Now, if you want it to write a blog post and things like that, it is more expensive, $90 a month than those three combined. But you got to remember any plan or whatever that was, wasn't writing a blog post. That was social posts. So one thing I just discovered is here under the, the quotables, these are motivational. There are other categories here. If I wanted story, one, can you tie words into emotion? I'm going to start experiments and see what happens. Epiphany, a credible idea makes people believe. An emotional idea makes people care. If we wanted promotional. So there are multiple quotables here. So it's a really interesting tool. So there you go. You can go over and actually try it for free. And then if you decide you want it, you can start off with, you know, the smaller package and work your way up to figure out how it works for you. I know I'm going to keep on playing with it. I was like, all right, you've, you've earned the right for me to keep playing with this. And if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll have a link under the video. If you're watching this on my website, schoolofpodcasting.com, well, the minute I shut up, a button will show up that you can click on. So thanks so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Until then, happy podcasting.